So today on Gold Key Farms, my fellow YouTube followers, when I'm out here today, I'm out here in the middle of the cornfield. Like I said, literally, um, I'm saying I'm in the middle of the cornfield because you see behind me, there's no corn. and But then there's corn again. Corn, no corn, 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 et cetera, corn over here. Well, I'm standing in a little spot that in the spring when I planted, you can still see roots in the ground. I mean, these are roots in the ground. It was wet here. I couldn't pull the planter through. Kind of had a lift. It kind of spun through it. But there were a few cobs or a few um, kernels that fell out at the very end and or when they started to pick up again. So that's what I'm going to talk about today because the question to me always has been, and I'm sure it's to some of you as well, is how many ears can one stock of corn actually produce? Well, that... The answer is, it depends. So, what we have here today is DeKalb 52-18 rib smart stacks corn. So, I'm going to show you a plant that's sitting somewhat by itself. It's about six feet away from the nearest plant. The nearest one is over there and there and here. And then there's nothing after it. So, let's go up and check out this plant. Okay, so, here we go. Mr. Corn Plant right here, or Mrs. Corn Plant. Not really sure which one it is, but hey, um, it is what it is. So at this point, it's male and female both. Anyways, so what do we have? Well, here, let's count ears. So you can't see with the leaf, but there we go. You have the main number one ear. Guess what? But we have a number two ear. He's going to produce a really pretty solid something there. Oh, but what's this? This is a number three ear. There might even be some kernels on that. But wait, here's a fourth ear. I don't know if there'll be kernels on that. Maybe. But wait, here's a fifth ear. Oh no, wait. Here's a sixth ear. Oh, but what are these? Seven and eight. <sighs> yeah, there's the potential for not one, not two, but eight ears on this particular stock of corn now they're not all going to mature and they're not all going to mount to anything but like i said two of them are going to be pretty solid ears and we might even have a few kernels on three of them um so and as you see i'm going to show you another plant that's the edge of the mix or edge of the thing here here's the same thing this is where we start back up or really the last corn that was planted before the planter shut off i had to lift it but we have the same thing here we have one ear we have two ears, and they're going to both be solid something. Three ears, four ears, three and four are going to dry up. There won't be anything. But there's going to be something in number one and number two. That'll be pretty solid. And it's not the only ones that I can find like this. So let's take a little walk. Take a little walk over here past where the ruts are. Um, you know, as we look at this corn, like here's a good solid plant again. He's going to have two really nice ears. He's got a big big ear i know it's really hard to tell um he's got a big ear here and another good size ear there another cob or another plant over here solid ear one two ears now but as we walk into it and we get into where the actual corn is growing and where it was planted at its normal population we're gonna walk in here we're gonna just kind of check some things out now we're into corn that is planted at, oh, let's see, about 36, 37,000 plants per acre. And let's see what we've got here. Um, we've got a really nice solid ear right here, tucked behind the, the leaf. The ear leaf's hard to see. See, and it wants to put out a second one right here. You can see, I think you can see that. You can see the silks. But there's not going to be anything in that. Like I said, what happens is that ear dries up. This is a nice solid ear. Same thing here. This is a good ear here. But this guy right here, he's probably drying up. Anyways, um, that's what's going on today on Gold Key Farms. So we're out here doing a little crop check, checking things out again. Decal 5218 out here. First year I planted it. It's quite tall, even in a drought year. Um, we are sitting still at an eight inch deficit from the time it was planted to now so that's like literally unheard of so i mean this corn is moving forward on 20 30 percent of what it normally gets so it's looking great for that um and in fact 
If you get down here way to the bottom, I know it's probably hard to see, but I'm gonna turn the phone around and see if you can see this. If you look down here way at the bottom, you're gonna see the dirt actually is damp. And the dirt is damp still. It's damp still, and let's find some leaves so we're blocking out the sun. The dirt's still damp because we had two tenths of an inch of rain the other day and then some dew. And then what happens is that water, as I've said before, the water funnels down these leaves just like an inverted umbrella. It just catches it and takes it right down there to the bottom. So be interesting to see what this corn does. Thanks for following and watching.